Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Wow, that's a pretty tall mountain. I'm sure there are way taller mountains, Tabs. Hmm, I wonder, what's the tallest mountain in the world? Great idea, Tabs. We'll go to the Himalayas and find out. I'm gonna need wings and the grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find the tallest mountain in the world. Woohoo! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're looking for the tallest mountain. I'm climbing it right now. Hi, I'm Betty the Yeti. Yeti! I was just headed to the top. That's where the best snow is. <laughs> Nothing worse than old snow. <laughs> Can I tag along? I want to see what it's like on top of the tallest mountain. Of course, but get ready. This mountain is super tall. We're up so high. And it's much colder up here. Thanks, Tabs. I love hot cocoa. Whoa! Woo! Gotcha. That was a close one. Hey, it's the mountain top. Yeah, we made it. Oh, whoa. It's so windy up here. I got you, Blippi! So, what is the name of this mountain? It's Tamalangma! Oh, you call it Mount Everest. You're right, Tabs. I have the answer to my question. What's the tallest mountain in the world? It's Mount Everest! It's 29,035 feet tall. Upload answer, Tabs. And the snow up here is delicious. Uh. <laughs> snow burps. <laughs> Have a good snow snack. Bye, Betty the Yeti. Bye, Flippy. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy. Whoa, look at all those adorable penguins. Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around. Wow, I think those penguins are flying. Wait a minute, those aren't penguins. You're right, Debo. I don't see any penguins flying. Hmm, I wonder, can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers. Duck feet, flippers. Confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Streaky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey! me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippi. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive shimmer stripe iceberg. The shimmer stripe iceberg? Yeah, it's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. All right. Here we go. Wee! Ice slide detour. I'm going to catch some serious air. Watch this. Yay. Whoop. Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need.
need to find the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! <laughs> Whoa! Not this one. No shimmer stripes here. Whoa! Woohoo! Where could it be? Whoa! It's the shimmer stripe iceberg! Yeah! Woohoo! Here we go! Whoa! Come on, Debo! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Are you ready to catch some serious air? We were born ready! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Whoa! Whoa, hey, dudes! <laughs> whoa, -oh. whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you see that? I guess it's not the same as flying, but we did catch some serious air! Pepper! You're soaring! I am? You're right. I can really soar underwater. Whoa! And I got the answer to my question. Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. <laughs> they also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dudes! Bye, Pepper! Mmm, what's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo. Vegetables are yummy too. Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Super suggestion! We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. All right, we're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. And look, there's one right now. Step right up. You're the next contestants on Slim Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show. Fruit or Vegetable. Tell us your names. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> now, Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seed in them and grow on a plant with flowers. Fruits have pits or seeds, and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that, too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Blippi, is this carrot a fruit or... Ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right. But can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, a fruit. Yes, strawberry is a fruit. And you have two correct answers, which means this trophy is all yours. Wow, thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves, and fruits have flowers in a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Mr. Slim. Congrats to you, Blippi. That's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madam Mango, on Fruit of Vegetables. Land ho! Hide our treasure, first mate Debo. 
I love playing pirates. Yar, me too. What is it, Debo? Whoa! Wow! It's a treasure map! Hmm, I wonder. How do you find buried treasure? I can help. X is where the treasure is buried. So cool! But how do we get to the X? First, we need to figure out where we are. Do you see anything you recognize from the map? Hey! That elephant-shaped rock looks just like the one on the map. Now you see those dashes? According to the map scale, each dash is equal to one step. Hmm, there's five dashes, so that's five steps. Right! Huh? And according to my compass watch, we need to walk five steps north, which is this way. One, two, three, four, five. The map says we need to climb up the tree. How are we going to do that? Look, a rope ladder. <laughs> nice work, first mate Debo. <laughs> Treasure, here we come. Whoa, a secret door. But how do we open it? This hopscotch grid is on the map. Oh, I've got it! Blippi, try hopping only on the blue squares. All right! We did it! Let's go! Marks the spot. <laughs> Woohoo! We found the treasure, and I got the answer to my question. How do you find buried treasure? To find buried treasure, you need a map, and to follow the directions written on it to find the X. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. The Great Big Book of Curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure. Huh? Yeah! Whee! Whee! Yay! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Who were they? Let's go find out! <laughs> The big Blippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy! Whoa! A giant construction site! Let's go check it out! Hard hat area. Hmm, I wonder, why do construction workers need to wear hard hats? <laughs> hey, I'm driving here! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We were wondering, why do construction workers wear hard hats? Oh, well, hello there, Blippi and Debo. <laughs> My name is Christopher, Christopher Crane. How you doing? Uh-oh, here, put these on. You'll need them. Okay. <laughs> Come with me. I need to bring these beams to the other side of the site. I can teach you about hard hats on the way. Here, here. Construction sites are very dangerous, and a hard hat helps protect your head from many risks. Like, you know, swinging steel beams. <laughs> Whoa, watch out! Whoa, that was a close one. <laughs> That's why we gotta be careful, you know? Kareem, how you doing? That's my buddy Kareem, he's a good guy, very tall. Come on. Hi, Kareem. <laughs> Hey, Debo, look out for those pipes. It's a good thing you're wearing your hard hat, Debo. Hard hats are great at protecting your head against bumps, you know? Still got a ways to go. Hop on. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, 
Look at all those construction workers all the way up there. Oh, sounds like lunch to me. But remember, there are dangers all over a construction site. You gotta be careful when walking below workers because you never know when something might Debo. fall. All right, stop goofing around. We got a job to do. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Christopher. All right, let's get this job started. Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> this is the hard part. <laughs> Gotta line it up just so. Okay? <laughs> hey, look! You helped install the last beam! Yeah! And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> Construction workers wear hard hats to protect their head from bumps and falling objects. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> hey, I got another job to do. Thanks for your help, Blippi. I'll see you later. Bye, Christopher. <laughs> Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Mmm, 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 salad! Oh, thanks, Tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? Great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in a mouth. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth. Shrinking down! We're inside a mouth. You're right, Tabs. We need a way to clean these teeth. Would a brush help? Hi, I'm Bill Brushy. And you are? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth. Well, you're asking the right brush. Hop on, and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth. All right. Hey, Bill Brushy. Is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir. It helps keep teeth healthy and food free. Okay, now here's how to brush your teeth. Let's go to the front first. So, small circles on every tooth. Whoa! Okay, that's the front done. Let's go to the back now. We turned, we flipped. Little circles round and round. All right. Let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the chew crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs. Toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow! I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling teeth. We will. Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye-bye. Phew! 
It's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck! Hi! Welcome to my neighborhood! I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in! Hi, Sherry! It's me, Blippi! I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand! Oh, I know that one! But first, let's have some frozen fun! All right! Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding! <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding! I'm chocolate fudge sparkly! Sherry, are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the Blippi Mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right, which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because popsicles will melt if they get <laughs> too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. Whoa, look at that. It's amazing how big dinosaurs were. <laughs> You're right, Debo. There were bigger dinosaurs than the T Rex. Hmm. I wonder, what was the biggest dinosaur? Good idea, Debo. We can go back in time and find the biggest dinosaur. I'm gonna need wings and extendo legs. Wings, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Okay, where is the biggest dinosaur? Whoa! The rock is moving! Oh! We aren't sitting on a rock. We're on a very big dinosaur's back. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Angie. The Argentinosaurus. Whoa! That is a big name for a big dino. I have to break it up to say it right. Argentinosaurus. That's me. So, I'm on my way to meet a friend. Oh, do oh, you want to come along? Thanks for inviting us. Do you want to race? I bet you can run super fast. Actually, I walk slowly. That's part of being so big. Plus, I need to snack to keep up my energy. I eat hundreds of pounds of plants every day. You want to get a selfie of you and all of Angie? Good luck, Debo. Wow, you're really long. I'm about 130 feet long and 40 feet tall. That's as long as three school bus 
glasses and a little taller than a telephone pole. Yum. The hill we go! I be your bridge! Whoa. Whoa. It tickles! <laughs> yeah! This is where I meet my friend. <laughs> hey! Good shot, Devo! We're both in it! <laughs> oh, and look! So is my friend! Sorry I'm late! Hey! This is my good friend, Nina! Nina, this is Bleepy and Debo. <laughs> They're looking for the biggest dinosaur. That's an easy one. You're the biggest dinosaur around, Angie. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> so cool. And I have the answer to my question. What was the biggest dinosaur? One of the biggest dinosaurs was the Argentinosaurus. It was 130 feet long and ate plants and leaves all day. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Angie and Nina. Bye, Blippi! Bye, Blippi! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Whoa! Ah, uh, more junk! Oh, oh, look! A shark's tooth! Whoa, Debo! There sure are a lot! Hmm, I wonder, how many teeth does a shark have? Great idea, Debo! We can go into the ocean and find out! I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller! Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Oh! Hi there! I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo. We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam into the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello! I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out! We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow! What a great friendship! Whoa! Someone called the Tooth Fairy! Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. Ah, nothing to worry about. Come on in. The water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Uh, maybe keep your mouth open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa, another tooth on the loose. That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when the front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, 56, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woohoo! <laughs> And I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi. Don't forget the boss. <laughs> What's making that sound? 
Oh, it's a race car. It's going so fast. You're right. The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo. We can go to the racetrack and find out. I'm gonna need race car tires. Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! Whoa! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain, do your thing. You can do it, Debo. Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do. My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track. Thanks, Debo. Now you're even faster. My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi. Whoa! I'm blown away! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Driving at night is so much fun! And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa! What was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm, I wonder, why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. Hi, my name is Rita the Raccoon. What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool! 
Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course. I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything. Oh, look at her go. Devo, follow that raccoon. You aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippi-mobile! This time, I'll drive! That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye-bye, Rita! Woohoo! I'm in the lead. Ah, baby chick straight ahead! Change course! Silly somersault! Hey! It's me, Blippi. And this is Mika and Tabs. Hi, I'm Penelope. Can you help me? I think I'm lost. Good question, Tabs. I wonder. How can we help Penelope find her way home? What's the last thing you remember, Penelope? All I remember is following a rainbow leaf. And now I'm here. Great thinking, Tabs. We should shrink down to Penelope's size so we can see things like she does. Shrinking down! Look! Penelope's footprints! Let's retrace her steps. I found you, Rainbow Leaf! Hey, Penelope! Wait for us! Oh. <laughs> it's so squishy! <laughs> Come here, Rainbow Leaf! Penelope, that's a butterfly. <laughs> a butterfly? Oh. Penelope, does any of this look familiar to you? But I do remember a forest of yellow suns. Blippi, look! That's it! Oh, you mean yellow sunflowers, Penelope. Penelope? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty up here. We made it! Mini celebration dance! Can you see your house from here, Penelope? No, but I remember something. A field of black and white clouds. I hear cows mooing. Over there. Oh, Penelope, those aren't black and white clouds. They're cows. <laughs> oh. That looks like fun. <laughs> Oh, come on! 
The cows are this way. That was fun. Hey, Tabs. Tag, you're it. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> oh, wow. Woohoo. Whoa. You can't catch me. Woohoo. And I got the answer to my question. How can we help Penelope find her way home? We helped Penelope find her way home by using our eyes and ears to observe the environment around us. Upload answer tabs. Ooh, a fuzzy, fuzzy, wuzzy. <laughs> Bye, Penelope. Nice catch, Debo. Do you hear that? That's one cool beat. I can't stop moving. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, why does music make us want to dance? Hi, Blippi. Hi, Mika. Hey, Benjamin. That was some pretty sweet beatboxing you were doing. Yeah, it made me want to dance. Hey, Benjamin, do you know why music makes us want to move our bodies and dance? I sure do. Just shrink down to my size, and I'll show you. All right. Shrinking down. Awesome. Now we're ready to party. Yeah. Hit it, DJ D-Bops. When we hear music, we enjoy the sound of it. This beat makes me want to move my feet. I love this song. And our bodies want to explain how the noise is being made. So we move in a way that matches the rhythm. On the beat. Woo, a classical song. Love your moves, Blippi. Check out yours, Mika. <laughs> Now we've got the same moves. Together. Woohoo! Hey, DJ D Bops, pick up that tempo! Flippy, I challenge you to a dance off! It's on! Dance on! Go, Flippy! Go, Flippy! Break it down, Mika! a nice ring. It makes me wanna sing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I almost forgot one more thing about dancing. What is it? That it's super fun. Oh yeah. It's a blast. <laughs> Thanks for answering my question, Benjamin. Music makes us want to dance because our bodies want to match the beat. It's a great way to connect with friends, and it's so much fun! Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Who's ready for a dance-off? Round two. <laughs> it's on! Dance on! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. <laughs> you can't catch me, Mika. I love being at the beach. Whoa, a flying fish. Hmm, I wonder what's underneath the ocean. Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Act 
Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Wow! It's a whole other world down here! Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly! It is a forest! Welcome to my neighborhood! My name's Jerry! Jerry the Jellyfish! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Tabs! We're down here to see what's in the ocean! Oh yeah, there's a lot! The ocean's full of surprises! I'll show you! I'm going to meet my friends and well, I'll give you a tour along the way! All right! Thanks, Jerry! First stop, our kelp forest! This kelp can grow up to 150 feet! Wow! That's so tall! Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around! Kelp! Kelp! Oh no! This never happens! Great idea, Tabs! Let's use the turbo boosters! Oh good! Glad you're okay! Let's move on! Whoa! That fish is blue and has a long nose! She's a blue marlin! She uses her nose to find and catch food! She's also really fast! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh no! This never happens! Yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here! Wherever we are... Jerry! Jerry? Blippi? Is that you in there? Oh no! Hold on! Whoa! I scared a gray whale? And she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens! Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus and a shark and a sea turtle and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter and a seahorse and a lobster and a stingray. Oh, look at that cute little squirrel digging a hole. Did you see her bury that nut? So true, Debo. We do need to know the answer. I wonder, why do squirrels bury their nuts? I'm gonna need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look, Debo! This is an acorn! It's a type of nut, and squirrels love them. Here, squirrely, squirrely! We have an acorn over here! Nuts! Nuts! I need more nuts! I can't get enough nuts! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is my friend Debo. We found a nut for you. Not? Oh, thanks for the acorn, Blippi. My name is Sparky. I'm kind of a nut expert. Then you have to tell us, Sparky. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? What? You don't bury your nuts? Huh? Oh, come with me. No time to waste. We need nuts, 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 and more nuts. This is the garden, my favorite place to collect and bury things. You know, I can bury 25 things an hour. That's a lot of burying. How do you remember where you put it all? I keep everything up here in the old furry head. My memory is amazing. You think you can remember like I can? <laughs> you want to try it? We sure do. <laughs> okay, now watch. we do. Easy peasy. Not an acorn. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Hello, yummy walnut. We can't find any acorns. That's 
That's right. Because I take special care to hide my nuts so only I can find them. That's how I keep them safe. And then I'll dig them up in the winter when I'm hungry and food is harder to find. So cool. And I found the answer to my question. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? Squirrels bury their nuts and other things so they can eat them later and have enough food during the winter. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye, Sparky. Bye-bye. <laughs> Keep digging. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Oh no! Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Evo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! These Colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> You have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait. Are we at the bottom now? No, you have reached my knees. Still a bit of a way to go. Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Devo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom. Woohoo! I knew you did. You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Demo! Oh no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Debo? Whoa, Debo! 
Oh, you have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck. All right, let's ride. Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure. Crash, crash. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi, I'm Megan. So Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great! You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall, monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall! Wow! Let's do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash! We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race and have competitions. Cool! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow! This is awesome! Whoa. How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering, so I can turn all four Whoa. wheels at once instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. <laughs> Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed! I nailed that! Megan, that was amazing! And I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> Wow! Look at those birds! Whoa! Wow! Look at all these animals we're finding! Maybe we'll find the king of the jungle next! Ah! <gasps> That's not the king of the jungle! King of the jungle? Wait, are, are you looking for a lion? There's not really any lions in the jungle. You gotta go to the savannah for that. Out there! Hmm, I wonder. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Whoa! <laughs> Lion! Cool! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Tabs. Hello, Blippi and Tabs. I'm Jabari, the king of the jungle. I was just sharpening my kingly skills on the lion obstacle course. The lion obstacle course? That's so cool! Would you like to train with me? If you complete the course, I'll make you honorary lions! Yeah! <laughs> Our first lesson is here, where you will learn to sneak like a lion. Sneak like a lion. Got it. Shh. Not so loud, Blippi. You will scare off the prey. The prey? The prey is the butterfly. Oh, I get it. Sneaky. Ow! <laughs> Not bad for a first try. Yeah! Let's try the next lesson. Jumping! Crouch down and feel your energy. Then, when you are ready, release the energy and jump! Are you ready, Tabs? Jump like a lion! Yes! Great job! Now there's one more lesson. Hop on my back and hang on tight! 
Welcome to the Roaring Arena. To roar like a lion, follow along. First, find your power. Lift up and roar! Way to go, Blippi and Tabs. You are now honorary lions. Roar! Thanks, Jabari. We had so much fun. And I got the answer to my question. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Even though lions are called king of the jungle, they actually live on the savanna. Lions are sneaky hunters, big jumpers, and have really loud roars. Upload answer tabs. See you next time we're in the savanna, Jabari. Goodbye, Blippi and Tabs. Come back and roar with me anytime. <laughs> <laughs>